Well, hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to listen through this video, and every time I whistle, when I say an S, let me know. Count how many times, and let me know in the comments how many times I whistle while I'm saying my S's. Because with these new dentures, I've been having a hell of a time stopping that whistle. So that's what today's video is about. I'm getting very comfortable with my dentures as far as just wearing them and eating with them and things of that nature. But I notice the only time I hear myself whistle is when I am editing a video and I hear it as I'm editing the video. So you'll notice that my videos are all in 4K now. And there's a reason for that. They just look better. <laughs> Especially the ride videos. They just look better. So we're going for a short ride today, not too long of a ride. We're going for a little ride today. And the reason for that is because next weekend, you can see the mountains are just covered in haze right now. Fall is well on the way. Some of the leaves down here are starting to change. The trees are starting to change color, but up on the mountains, mountains, the leaves are really starting to change color. And next weekend, they're going to be beautiful. And I am going up on the mountain to do a ride video next weekend for my bike channel. And I'm also going to throw a ride video up for you guys. Because for five years now here in Utah, I have been trying to get up in the mountains where I can get some beautiful fall colors on video and I have not been able to do that since I've lived here and now I know where to go how to get there when to go and all that stuff so next week you guys are going to see some beautiful fall colors along with me riding my bike on some trails I'm gonna do that for y'all because like I said you got to learn how to live with your dentures and learning how to live with your dentures means getting out there and living your life that doesn't mean just sitting around whining about your dentures all the time now I understand that some of you are brand new to dentures and you're frustrated and you're gonna whine a little I get it I did the same thing but you can't let that take over your life and you can't just continue to be upset about your dentures all the time. I found that just getting out and doing something took my mind off my dentures. Of course, I went right back to work an hour after I had my teeth pulled and my dentures put in my mouth. I went right to work. But not everybody can do that. So I believe that keeping yourself busy and getting on with your life will really help you with not thinking about your dentures 24 7 I truly believe that you got to have a hobby or you got to be doing something to keep your mind off your dentures because that way they're just a slight annoyance when you're trying to do something and they're a little uncomfortable kind of like a shirt being uncomfortable it's just a slight annoyance it's not a major ordeal but our minds make it a major ordeal the more we focus on them so we have to learn to quit constantly focusing on our dentures and start thinking about other things I'm doing 10 miles an hour over the speed limit and that car just flew past me. Of course, everybody on this road is doing 10 miles an hour over the speed limit as you can see. So 
So, one of the things I've noticed about just getting out and living your life and just being a part of something, doesn't matter what. God, I keep forgetting that they have that barbecue stand there. One of these days, I need to come down here and get some barbecue. That would be amazing. But one of the things I've noticed about just getting on with my life is I can still make videos and talk about dentures, but I'm not focusing on that 24 hours a day, seven days a week on what's my next video going to be about. I can just randomly make a video and get it out there and not be freaking out wondering what the next subject is going to be because I'm living my life with my dentures. Everything I do is with my dentures. <laughs> So I don't have to worry about trying to focus so hard on what kind of a video I'm going to make. You know, there for a while I was stressing about, oh, God, you know, what can, what can next week's subject be and stuff like that. And I was looking for reasons to make videos. And now, you see that leaves are starting to change color? Not quite where they need to be yet for me to go up and get video in the mountains but getting there and of course I'm only at 4600 feet here in altitude so when I go up in the mountains I'll be at like nine or ten thousand feet which is going to be a huge difference because at that altitude things are going to be a lot cooler so the leaves will be changing much faster. Which will be very cool. Now every time I go out on a ride on Sunday, which is the day before you're seeing this video, I always see yard sales. And I never have any cash. And that sucks. Because I've seen some pretty good stuff at these yard sales I wouldn't mind having, but I never have any cash with me. I don't carry cash anymore. I do everything on a card. So, one of the uh, tree services that I contract for, I do tree service work on the weekends. I've told you guys that. Wants me to go out and look at a tree. So I'm going to do that real quick. It's, uh, they said it's not a big tree, but they want me to give them a price on doing the work because their climber apparently doesn't want to do it. And since I've been climbing trees for 30 years, they want me to give them a price of what I would charge to do that tree so they can add that into their bid because their climber doesn't want to do it. And when I work for other companies like that, since I'm doing, you know, home telephone work right now, when they call me up and they want me to do a job on the weekend or something, I just give them my price. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't let them tell me how much they're going to pay me. I tell them how much I'm going to charge them. So there it is, little tiny tree, and I don't get why they want me to do this one. That doesn't make any sense. But they could easily do this tree. Well, that'll take about an hour. It doesn't make any sense to me why they want me to do it. I'll have to call the company and find out if they want me to just do the whole tree and haul it off because sometimes I do that for them too. And I think what it is, is they're, like he'll send his guy out by himself to do a job like that and he doesn't want to do it. And that's the kind of job I can easily do by myself. That'll take me to cut it down as close to the ground as humanly possible, get it all loaded on the trailer and haul to the dump will take a total of about four hours. That's nothing for me. 
so maybe it's just not worth him going out and bidding the job because it's such a small job it's not really worth him going out spending the money and gas to go out and bid the job and try to do the job because honestly he has a big bucket truck and a chipper and a dump truck and a six-man crew and all that stuff so what I'll do is I'll tell them how much I'll charge to cut the tree down and haul it all off and then what he'll do is he'll probably just because I'll be working under his insurance he'll probably just add a hundred bucks to that price and then he'll just pay me what I have coming after I get it done and he'll keep the other hundred bucks just for giving me the job so that'll be cool I'm not sure how he works that, but hey, I don't really care as long as I make my money. And like I said, I can do that on a Saturday. It'll take four hours. Start at seven in the morning, I'll be done by noon. Then I can go for a ride on my bike and do whatever I want. And that's another thing that I've, I've always found uh, doing extra work, you know. Yeah, I sit on my butt in an office, you know, eight hours a day, five days a week, but I have got to be doing something physical because just sitting around all the time, I, I'm getting fat. I don't like being fat. So doing extra work like that on the weekends, not only is it good for my muscles and good for my mental stability because I'm outside doing something, it's good for my brain as well and it's just good for me period and it's good for my bank account you know it's extra money in the bank and anytime I can put extra money in the bank and make extra bike payments and stuff like that I am happy when I can pay my bills and have extra money to go run around and do things of that nature I am very happy okay I don't see a sign that says no turn on red so I can turn that's something you got to pay attention to here in Salt Lake City there's a lot of places most intersections you can turn right on red but there are a lot of intersections here in Salt Lake City that have a sign that says no turn on red so you got to be careful about that when you live in Salt Lake City so I'm just riding around today I had to go look at that little tree I can't believe it's that small that's why he doesn't want to do it apparently now he tells me his climber can't do it but I think it's more along the lines of he drove by and looked at it and it was just like yeah that's too small for me to justify paying a crew to do this tree and to be honest he's a pretty big guy a pretty sizable fella and his hands are pretty soft he doesn't actually do any work himself he lines up the jobs and then sends his crew out to do the work and stuff so I don't see him going out there with a chainsaw and making the extra money on that job so what it is is it's too small for him to justify being able to pay his crew to go out there and do it because he couldn't bid it high, en <clears throat> high enough for them to make any money and he ain't gonna do it himself either so that's why he jobs like that they always call me and they just say you know give us a bid how much will you charge to do that job so I just give them a price and then they call the customer and give them a price and the customer says okay and then the next thing you know I'm out there doing a the job and they always give me little magnetic signs to put on my van when I go out to do a job like that so the customer knows I'm doing it for them so that's cool So that's awesome. Now I got to go home and edit this video and get it up for you all for tomorrow. 
already did my food video this week. I hope that music isn't showing up in your uh, ears here because that'll be a copyright strike. If it is, I'll have to cut this section of the video out because I'm not getting any copyright strikes. So anyway, I'm going to go home, get this video on the computer, get it edited, get it up, get it scheduled to come out today for you since you're watching it now it's today i'm making this video on sunday you're watching it on monday so you notice how smooth i shift this bike it's almost it almost sounds like an automatic when i shift it that's crazy i've been riding bikes my entire life so of course I shift them smooth. See that I just went into fifth gear. It sounded like an automatic shifting, didn't it? And I shouldn't even be in fifth gear doing 45. I should be in fourth, but that's all right. I'm wondering if my speedometer might be off on this bike because I can't for the life of me believe that every single person that on every road I go down is doing 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. That just doesn't seem right. Alright, so add up how many times I whistled with my S's in this video and throw me a comment and let me know because you know I'm going to count them up as I edit this video. So I will know exactly how many times I've whistled. You figure it up and throw me a comment and see if you're right and then we'll go from there I've been really trying to quit whistling with these new dentures but it's been difficult to be honest it's been very difficult to quit whistling with these compared to uh, whistling with my other dentures only took a second but these new ones I'll tell you the palette is shaped different so it's more difficult for me to figure out where I need to speak with my tongue where I need to put my tongue to quit whistling and maybe it's because I'm focusing on it too much see how smooth I shift this bike isn't that awesome all right guys I will see you in my next video don't forget to keep smiling keep trying and whatever you do, never give up.